Okay, it's Tommy. Uh, I got a new battery for the 65. The one it was on, it wasn't very good. And I got some plugs and things for it, but I thought before I get started too fast on tuning it up, I think I'm going to do a compression test on a couple of cylinders just to get an overview of what it looks like. I noticed in my video that uh, you know, I seen some blow by coming out of one of the valve covers, so if the compression's pathetic in it, there's no sense in doing anything to it right now and just overhaul it if it needs to be. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, check it out and see what, uh, see what kind of compression we got on it. Okay. I forgot that I had a leaky fuel fitting down here on the fuel pump, so I got stuff to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bend me a hard line, got me a new line, uh, a bender, I'm going to go ahead and just put a, put a fuel line on it before I try to, before I try to turn it over with a compression tester, but uh, I'm just going to bend me a fuel line up and over and around and uh, go ahead and put me a filter in and put my filter in and get it going from there so I'll go ahead and do that first okay I got me a fuel line bent and put on there uh, I also bought a battery yesterday and I went ahead and uh, cleaned the terminal ends and put that thing on too surprisingly that battery tray doesn't have one hole in it it is almost perfect and the the, uh, the battery hole down was in the cab of the truck, so that's that's pretty good too. So, but anyway, uh, I pulled the uh, coil wire off. I'm fixing to. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the number one cylinder and uh, see what we've got as far as the compression. The plugs don't look too spiffy. It looks like it might be burning some oil, so I just have to. I don't know, it's not very promising right now. Okay, here's what I've got. I've got about 90. Right on about 90. It's the first cylinder checked. It's not very good. Not very good. But it's just a 55 year old motor, so 52 year old motor, so. Okay, here's the last one. Just a little under 90. You know, I was uh, thinking, you know, this thing's cold. I've not got it running yet, so i uh, really supposed to check compression when it's hot. I didn't really, wasn't really thinking about that to begin with, so uh, that's what I need to do is uh, once I get it running, check it again. My 90's not terrible, but, you know, uh, I'd like for it to be better, but you know what do you expect for an engine that's you know 52 years old? So anyway, that's uh, I'll just go from there. Okay, as I was checking the compression, I went ahead and dropped plugs in this thing as I as I went along. Uh, I've tried to start it again; it acted just like it did last time. So uh, I, I don't know if the guy that I got this from has set the points right in it or what, but it's it's not wanting to do right. So. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. It's getting late this evening. I get back out here and start on it in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and drop my electronic ignition in there and uh, go from there and see what I can do about it. Um, right now, it's I mean, it's get the the gas is and it's getting plenty of fuel. So I'm just thinking that I might have a problem with the with electronic ignition. So I'm going to go that route with it in the morning. So till then.